Blair, we got some good stuff for you this morning, and we're getting ready to kick off the weekend. Good Friday morning. Started Labor Day weekend in our Zip Trip finale. Day, Marissa, Claire, Holly, and Tucker are out there already. How's it going so far? I love the crowd. Oh my gosh, it is great. <laughs> and it's especially special because it is our finale. We have a beautiful sunflower that even came out in that that is great. to celebrate here at National <laughs> Harbor. And we so appreciate all the support that you all have given us every year, including this zip trip season. And we're going to keep the fun coming, right? Yes. Yeah. because there's this cute little plaps. They are right over there, and I can't wait to meet them. And we've done such a good job of, uh, well, not us personally. Uh -huh. You guys have done a great <laughs> job of finding homes oh, for yeah. these dogs. They're all finding homes, so it's so exciting. Can't wait for it's it. It's a group effort for sure. But you know what? We couldn't have asked for better weather, Claire. <laughs> you know what? Tucker and I think we'll take this. Uh, take it away, Tuck. <laughs> Marissa, thank you so much. And uh, yeah. I'm here in National Arbor as well. We're all here this morning, guys. And it's going to be uh, an absolutely beautiful day as we are looking at uh, daytime highs in the upper 80s. Let's show you the uh, satellite and the radar quickly. And uh, you can see that the uh, conditions outside early this morning. Lots of sunshine. Eventually, upper 80s later today. Uh, and we'll keep that humidity on the low side. But uh, a nice, nice Friday afternoon. Should be a uh, late summer weekend feel out there. I'll talk about the weekend forecast coming up. We'll be here, of course, uh, at National Harbor all the way until 11 o'clock. Holly, over to you. Tucker, turn around. Turn around. Can you turn around? Turn around away. Hey! <laughs> so you looked good from behind, but I like to see your pretty face even better. So we're just wanted to kind of give you an overview of where we are at National Harbor. And, you know, we talk a lot about the new restaurants and the stores that are here, but about 2,100 people call National Harbor home. And in the next few months, they're going to have 500 additional units, which means at least probably another 1,000 people will be moving this way. And so they need to be taken care of. And health is of utmost importance. And that brings me to our next two guests. This is Angela and Lynn. They are with Family Medical Counseling. She's the coordinator of the whole thing. Angela is. Lynn's all about the testing. And we're going to get it all in this morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you. And even more for what you do. Thank you. So give me an overview of the organization. So Family and Medical Counseling is a nonprofit organization. We have two locations, one in Southeast Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., and one in Seat Pleasant, Maryland. And our facility focuses on providing holistic care to the entire family. So we provide pediatric services. We provide primary medical care. But then we also provide wraparound services like substance use disorder services and mental health services for people in our community. A big component of that for us is outreach and education and getting the services out in the community. So Lynn, who's been with the company for about 10 years, has been responsible for much of our outreach efforts. I was going to say, one of your challenges is probably just letting people know that you are here exactly. and you are here for them. Exactly, exactly. And making sure that if there are any barriers to care, right. transportation, difficulty finding the site, we can go to your community and we can provide the services right where you live. So we have about three large scale mobile units that we use in the community that we can take the service to you. HIV testing, we can do hep C testing, COVID testing, and right now, which is really important, is COVID vaccine. So you right. see I have my shirt on. I, I, I got, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right, Lynn, so since you are the testing coordinator, yes. talk a little bit more specifically about that. So testing for us is obviously one of our, our main focuses at Family and Medical because it helps bring people in the door for us. Obviously, our medical department is extremely important, pediatrics, but when we're out in the street, it gives people a face to the agency. So that's what really significant for us is making sure that we're out there showing people that we're there to help support them, re-engage them in care if they've been lost to care, test them with all of the components of testing that we offer for them and just to make sure that they know that we're here. Family and medical is about the family from the cradle to the grave. Well, we I'm glad sure you brought that. up the cradle. Um, <laughs> we recently expanded the pediatric program and yes. you've got a big push just for vaccines in general, not just COVID, but 
Absolutely. getting kids back to school and in school. Yes. So we're actually out in the community now. We get several different requests to come out into the community. That's why our mobile units are so important because we can pull up to where you are. We can meet you where you are, get your, your students, your, your organizations, anything that you need vaccinated. But obviously with our children, it's a huge component to get them to get them vaccinated, excuse me, not tested. Yeah. And make sure they get what they need for school. Well, the good thing is you can get vaccinated and you can get tested. Yeah. Because they're All of it. All and of it. you heard them talk about it's important for them to put faces with the services. So I want you to remember these faces. Look at all these faces right here. Family Medical Services. As I started it by saying thank you for what you do. They You're truly welcome. are angels here on earth and they are keeping our community safe. All right. Back to you guys.